is one of the most feared men in Australia. He admits to being implicated in the deaths of 19 people, but now he claims to have turned over a new leaf. Today's Christina Hearn went to meet him. The movie might have made him famous, but Chopper Reed says it's been more trouble than it's worth and now feels it's time to set the record straight. I was, I was never quite the uh, psychopathic like murdering madman that they, they had me down as being. And uh, Margaret wasn't a prostitute or a junkie. The notorious criminal wants people to know his softer side. His life now revolving around his wife Margaret and son Roy. No guns, no knives, no trouble. Oh, Margaret's everything, you know, she means everything to me. You know, she saved me life, you know. What is a typical day for Chopper Reed now? I usually walk Roy to school and you know, go and do a few paintings, you know, try to sell a few paintings, yeah. Quite a contrast to your earlier years. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. There's no denying those early years were violent and brutal. Now though, the man once branded a danger to society is facing up to his own mortality after being diagnosed with psoriasis of the liver. When they tell you you've got five years to live, it's ridiculous, you know? And I said, hey, hey, how can you figure out they've got five years to live? He said, well, you could have 15 years to live, I don't know. With that kind of diagnosis, yeah. if it was me, I'd start to look at the uh, the afterlife. Yeah. Do you believe in heaven and, yeah. and the afterlife? <laughs> yeah, I suppose, I don't know, you know, you, you take a bet each way, don't you? I suppose if, if there is a God, you know, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if there's not, who gives a bugger? He might be unrepentant, but claims he's a changed man. After a nervous breakdown late in life, he was diagnosed with attention deficit disorder, received counselling and put on medication. How do you think it would have changed your life if you were diagnosed much earlier? Oh, I, oh, I don't know. I reckon uh, I probably wouldn't have done 23 years, 9 months. You know? You know? Some people would be unshot? Well, that's right. I probably wouldn't have shot as many people as I did. You know, not that I've shot all that many, but uh, no, I've shot a few. People would think you're a very wealthy man. I got bugger all. I got nothing. You know, I got ripped off for every penny on that bloody movie. They, they reckon there's even um, you know, 300,000 copies of the DVD being sold, and no one knows where that money's gone to. Yeah. Who would dare rip off Chopper Red? I don't know. A maniac. Eric Banner, and, uh, Harry, uh, um, Andrew Dominic, Michelle Bennett, John Sylvester, and Andrew Rule. Bugger. Give them all a gut shot. Gut shot. <laughs> One the guts are all made of one that won the spine. Do you reckon you have any enemies left? No one's walked up to me and, and said they're going to kill me. Since That's I've been a good out. start. No one's taken a shot at me. A good sign. That's right. <laughs> Chopper believes those days died with Carl Williams, and the new gangland war between rivals the Chayooks and the Hadaras won't be as bloody. Emmy had a kill last time, 29. No, the, the Ch Chinooks and the Hadaras, they aren't going to kill 29 people. There's not. There's not 29 in each family to kill. He might be more mellow, but some things remain the same. Thanks, Chopper. Never play guilty. Some good advice. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chopper's new book is called One Thing Led to Another, and it's in stores now. Christina Hannon with that report. Well, after the break.